Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. What it takes to become a farmer? Well, as a farmer, you have to wake up early in the morning. You have to sleep early and wake up early because we have so many pets to feed. And in fact, just this morning, I supervised my staff in getting all these grasses so that our goats will eat their food early in the morning. And we had made a significant improvement here in the farm. And as you can see, during dawn, actually we filmed this during five o'clock in the morning, and you will see the beauty of the boathouse. There are still lights that are very colorful. You will see these lights, there are blue lights, there are warm lights that would illuminate the whole of this boat. And I'm so excited to start with the business. As I've always mentioned, in fact, two years ago, I've always mentioned that we're gonna start soon the business of offering coffee and other food to our customers. And you look at this, we already have almost completed the construction of our kitchen. And in fact, the counter bar is actually very elegant now. We are uh, putting some finishing touches here and the color here is white but uh, you can suggest beautiful color what kind of color or what color are we gonna put or are we gonna apply in the wall of our kitchen and by the way let us take a look at the chicks that we have raised here come on let's go to the chicks and we will feed them We have to move fast because we're running out of time. Actually, we're gonna feed our chicks here so that they will eat the breakfast early. So this is it. These are the chicks of our um, chamo, chamo rooster. And you look at here, you look at them. They are so big now. ta <laughs> And these chicks are about to be released in the field. And you will see that these chicks are already very healthy. And I believe that this type of size now, the age is actually now very resistant to viruses that may um, affect or common to the chickens. But since they're already big, then it, I have this confidence that they can already survive. So what about Brenda? <laughs> Brenda is here and Brenda is very excited to meet me personally every morning. And Brenda is fan of getting my dandruff. You know, Brenda likes to eat my dandruff. That's why Brenda likes my company every morning because he wanted to eat my dandruff.
you look at this guys we already have this water system and the water is really very clear and i am confident that the water system that we have here will suffice to supply the pond that we have here at the side so we have here a 1000 square meters of this fish pond and i am very confident that with this deep well that we have established here we can raise tilapias we can raise hito and other fish here in the big mud pot As you may see here, guys, we were able now to prepare this place for uh, cementing purposes. We're gonna concretize everything here. This is the flooring, and you, you will see the iron bars here are already in place. And for this day, we would like to achieve, you know, putting some cement here and concreting the flooring here. And this is the area where we can sing and play our instruments so i'm gonna be singing here i know i love to sing and i have some friends we can do the jamming here we will invite people to witness us singing our own very own song composition we have so many of this and you can also bribe some bongenios that's our channel also and we have so many friends that are really into you know playing musical instruments and we're gonna finish this today and tomorrow we will have or we will make another update for this so for the meantime let's go to the goat house and we will feed them come on let's go well you will see that we have here some developments in this particular area. We were able to uh, put in some of the peeling materials, but what saddens me is the native birds that we have here. They're no longer here. They're quite disturbed, but I'm still hoping that we can still, you know, let them come back because it's my observation that they were disturbed really by this uh, big equipment here. But as soon as we can complete everything, I believe they will come back. But our goats here at the back is very promising because this goat farming is one of the easiest farming that you can engage into because you're just getting the grasses anywhere in the vicinity. And you look at here, there are plenty of grasses. So I will encourage you to also maximize the use of our homestead. Maybe you have a vast track of land that's idle. You can also try making goat farming because this goat farming is very cheap to maintain. So these are the things that we can share with you. Our boat house is good, everything is good, and to God be the glory because His mercy endures forever. So thank you, thank you guys for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are uploading videos very regularly. And see you in the next video on here at Dexter's World. I'm running because I'm late. <laughs>